Friday has arrived, man. The end of the stand-up week. Oh boy. A first? Another first? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And uh, yes, yeah, so a first, another first that we are doing here on uh, the show. And uh, this is going to be from Eddie Murphy today. All right. Well, uh, Eddie Murphy, man, uh, he only did two specials. You know what I'm saying? Like two comedy specials. And that, and that always kind of bugged me a little bit because the first two, uh, Delirious and uh, Raw, and uh, this clip that I'm going to be getting into today is from Raw, the second special from him. It's like, man, I always wonder how come he didn't do more specials, you know? But yeah, now I know why. He took off like real quick, made uh, real good movies, man. He's made countless classic movies. And uh, he's just like overall one of the funniest dudes like of all time, you know what I mean? And uh, there's no uh, denying that whatsoever, no matter how much anyone might want to try. So we're going to get to some Eddie Murphy today. And uh, this one is going to be titled Men and Women. Okay. Well, hey, man. <laughs> I can only imagine where this is going to go, man. I have not seen this uh, special in so many years. In fact, I think I've only seen it a total of twice in my entire life. And uh, I don't know why I didn't like uh, get into this one even more, but you know, I guess it's just another one of those things that slides right past me a little bit. And I know some of y'all gonna be like, man, what planet is this dude from? I'm like, well, Earth, you know, but alternative Earth, you know, with this crazy brain right here. So yeah, man, we're gonna get into him, like I said. So, Eddie Murphy with Men and Women. And if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going. All right. Well, on this uh, headliner Friday, man, I thought that uh, Eddie Murphy was a perfect fit for this day. Um, I don't know what uh, Eddie Murphy's been up to lately, you know what I mean? Like maybe some movies here and there. But uh, other than that, man, um, I heard that he was uh, trying to get into stand-up again. Uh, I don't know if he's going to come out with a special or not, but if he does, man, I'm going to be right there waiting for it to come out. Uh, if I find out where it's filmed, I might fly down there and try to be in the audience myself, you know what I mean? Because that's how good this guy is. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Eddie Murphy, Men and Women, right here on Eddie BTV. Wonderful Friday. Headliner Friday. Let's get our laugh on, people. <clears throat> Ooh, it's a windy day outside today. All right, let's get situated with this one, and here we go. You know, because I'm used to American women saying, you don't own me. <laughs> hey, baby, where you going? Oh, man. Been there, man. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, hell no. I said, where you going? You don't own me. You my woman, ain't you? I don't see no rings on these fingers. <laughs> Are you going to put a ring on this finger? Well, I will, I will, I will. Well, then you don't owe me in, okay? First of all, let me tell you, I don't give a fuck who you are or what you have, okay? You got a whole lot of nerve to come inside and ask me where I'm going. I come and go as I please. I don't answer my father. I ain't going to answer no man either. Ain't no man going to tell me where I can go. I come and go. You got a whole lot of motherfucking nerve. Who the hell do you think you are anyway? Don't come and ask me where I'm going. Nobody owns me. I own myself. I'm my own person. A lot of talking. And yeah, we hear all that shit? Okay. <laughs> but where you going to be? I'm going to be where I'm at. All right. You don't own me. <laughs> got to be careful. You got to have a J-O-B in the 80s. You got to have some money. You got to have some money. You can't get no pussy. Listen to the radio. That's what it's about. Listen to Madonna. I'm a material girl in a material world. You ain't got no money. You can't have no pussy. <laughs> Basically what it is. There's a song out now called Got to Have a J-O-B If You Want to Be With Me. Ooh. Really? <laughs> and the lyrics go, ain't nothing going on but the rent. Like if you went up and said, hey, babe, what's going on? The rent, motherfucker. Oh, that's what it is, huh? You have a job? Well, I will, I will, I will. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> well, I will, I will. <laughs> Got to have some money. It says no romance without finance. And women love them songs. Got to have a day <laughs> Janet Jackson got a hit record, What Have You Done For Me Lately? Oh, yeah, that's a classic. That's what they think. What have you done for me lately? The record start off like that. I know he used to do shit for you, but what has he done for you lately? <laughs> Baby, I love you. What have you done for me lately? Oh. You're the only thing on my mind. What have you done for me lately? Mm. We make good love. What have you done for me lately? Mm. 
They can figure us out. Guys, don't get trapped. We call them pussy traps. Let's call them pussy traps. <laughs> it's a trap. They trap pussy you with trap. the pussy. They catch you with the pussy. That's what they do to you. It's a trap. The most common trap is to not give you any, though. Don't think like, maybe, you know, you're going to put a trap on. The most common is when you ain't getting any at all. That's the trap. When you meet a woman and everything is perfect and she won't do anything, it's a trap. Sometimes it backfires because a lot of women play these games with sex and ladies like sex just as much as we do guys, but they act like they don't, but they do. It's not a woman. I'll get to it's that. It's not a woman in this room right now wouldn't rather be somewhere else with a nice stiff one in them. Don't you let them fool you. They like it just as much as us. Your lady sitting there going, that's true. He's funny, but he's not that funny. <laughs> I'll take a dick over a smile in a day. Yes, I will. Oh, really? Really? Like it just as much as us, but they play these games. See, you know where it backfires on you ladies? When you go meet a guy, and he wants you, you want him, and you like each other, and everything is perfect, but you won't do anything. He said, baby, let's go. You say, no, I'm not going to do it. And after that, he don't like you no more, but he still wants to fuck you. So he waits. He be like, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> Good night. And you wait. You wait three months. Then you finally get it, and she's like this, I'm yours. And you go, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you and your pussy. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. That was the end of that one. All right. Okay. Oh, man. I remember, man, that this was... um. This was back in the 80s, uh, maybe early 90s, something like that. I got to look it up again. But, yeah, man, that was a, a blast from the past right there. Eddie Murphy, y'all, with men and women. Well, what to unpack with this one, man? You know, I grew up around the time, you know, I was a little kid when I was hearing all uh, things like this, you know, for the first time. And uh, I was, uh, from a young kid, even up to now, being almost 37 years old, man, I just like, nah, never impressed with that mentality. Never impressed with that way of thinking. It, it's just me. You know, I know some ladies probably gonna have something to say about it, you know, when it's all said and done. But you know, hey, man, everybody has their opinion, and I'm just gonna give you mine, all right? Don't need no hostility here, okay? But um, when I um, first started dating, and I used to hear certain things like that, you know, and I, I used to just be like, hmm. I don't own you, huh? But yet, all the women that you end up with, they act like they own you. <laughs> that always used to make me laugh. It's just like, you know, when you want something, you know what I mean? Like, nah, you know what I mean? But all that, it's just, it was always a confusing time, you know? But you always had the old school fellas looking at you like, oh, young buck, when you get older, you'll understand. I'd be like, nah, <laughs> got this older, still don't understand. And I don't want to understand, you know? It's a trip, you know? When everyone talks about what relationships are, you know, they want to talk about, you know, courtship and talk about chivalry. You want to talk about submissiveness or you want to talk about love or you want to talk about family and all these things. And yet the only thing that seems to be um, uh, the common denominator is that, you know, both sides want something. Both sides want something from the other. And for the most part with the men, it's going to be sex, right? And with the women, you know, at least back in these times, for the most part, it had to do with just like, you know, validation from her social circle. It had to do with uh, security. It had to do with, you know, um, just a multitude of things, you know what I'm saying? And it, it always used to throw me how everything went because whenever I used to get involved, like, I'll just, I'll just start from when I became a grown man, you know, past 21. And uh, I just used to hear all these same things being said. But yet, on the flip side, I kept hearing about how women have their own uh, money. They can, you know, they can work now. They can do all these things and, you know, equality and all that. But yet, all of these sayings from back from when this special came out and even before that, you know what I mean, like, seem to be like, you know, they, they still apply. And I never understood that because I'm like, so let me get this right. You want to take advantage of your newfound uh, freedom and your liberation as women, and yet you still want to hang on to the whole fragile, docile uh, female. You know, I just, I never did appreciate that whole thing. You know, it's like, you can't have both. <laughs> you got to pick one because I guarantee you anything, no matter what women do with their lives, no matter how much liberation a woman gets, a man... Uh, the, the only way a man gets respected, even in the littlest, is still if he's the man. The man who's making the money, providing and all that. And it's just like, eh, I, yeah, I just never appreciated that. So you want to play both sides, huh, ladies? Nah, not with this guy. <laughs> I can't speak for every other man out there, but I can definitely speak for me. He ain't capitalizing on both ends. Not with this guy. 
But yeah, that was just about that. Like, you don't own me. And I was like, well, you don't own me. If you ask me where I'm at, I'm going to be like, <laughs> I'm going to be where I'm at too, you know. But, you know, it's like uh, the ladies got what they got, you know, and the uh, dudes want it. So it's just always like, well, huh, are dudes going to compromise themselves to get what they want? A lot of men do. When I was younger, in my teenage years, I used to compromise myself. Early part of my adulthood used to do the same thing. But, you know, as I got older and older, you know, from like 24, 25 and onward, yeah, I was uh, pretty much set in my ways, you know. You're not going to talk to me any kind of way you want to. You're not going to put hands on me. You're not going to play both sides. We're going to work together. You know, we're going to be individuals first, and let's see if we can get this championship trophy together. You know what I mean? And the, let's achieve that real prize, you know. I'm sick and tired of females and and dudes by themselves saying, I'm a prize, I'm the, I'm the shit, I'm this, I'm that. Nah, you're just an individual, man. <laughs> what you achieve with the person that you love, if you can achieve greatness with that, that is the prize. And I can't stress that enough, you know. A lot of females are stupid with it, a lot of men are stupid with it too. But um, getting to uh, what he said about sex and all that, um, I... Uh, I don't know, and you know, personally, it's not really a major concern of mine. And, you know, there's there's reasons for this, but you know, I'll save that for another day. But I'm not too into, you know, females faking being into sex or even like you know creating these scenarios where you have to like jump through hoops and go through obstacle courses to get sex and all that. Dudes want sex, you know what I mean? If, and, and I'm not auditioning for nothing. You know, if you like me, you like me. If I like you, I like you. And if we know that about each other, let's see how we connect in this way. You know, let the let the intimacy flag fly wherever it must. But, you know, it doesn't always go down like that. You know, there's always men out there doing things that they know good and damn well. They don't want to do, but they do them. And then they end up playing themselves later on. And females like pretend like they don't know that something can go down some kind of way if, uh, you know, if they... Um, act a certain type of ignorance, you know what I mean? It's, just, it's all over the place. You know, when he was talking about how dudes wait, and then when they finally get it, they just go, man, the hell with you. Get out my face, like he said at the end of it. I remember one time, and uh, ladies, if you want to get mad, that's fine. I'm just telling the old childhood story, but I was um, a teenager one time, and then I was just, uh, hooking up. No, well, not hooking up quite yet, but I met this one girl. She was really nice, and I thought everything was cool. And then somewhere along the way, things got a little bit twisted. Things got a little bit confusing. Because we started, you know, you know, the mwahs and all this stuff getting all over each other. And then she did this whole pullback thing like, wait. And I was just like, oh, here we go, right? Because <laughs> that's one thing dudes hate to hear, but it does happen a lot. But uh, it was like, wait, I was like, well, I don't, I don't do this with a guy unless he's my boyfriend. I'm just like, so your, your tongue down and tease dudes you ain't with, but you'll only have sex with dudes you with. And, you know, I heard all that and I got real in my feelings about it. It was a young, immature thing to do, but I don't regret it because it was necessary at the time. But I was like, okay, I'll be your boyfriend. Yeah, let's, let's, let's be together and all that. And then she was like, oh, okay, well, now I don't have to look like this in front of other people. And then I was like, as soon as we did it, next day, over. <laughs> I was like, it's over. It's like, how could you do that? I'm like, how could you do what you did? <laughs> you placed a stipulation on you, so I'm placing a stipulation on me. We both messed up. You know what I mean? Got to deal with that one. And uh, the thing, the reason why I did that was some ways I was ahead of my time and other ways very much dumb, you know, but this one I thought I was ahead of it because, you know, if you want to be with somebody in a relationship, if you want to hook up with someone, casual fling, if you want to have a family with somebody, whatever, you have to do that because you want to do it. You have to do it because it's something that you desire. It's something that you uh, treasure and take seriously. You can't be worried about what other people think. And that's what this girl did. She was so worried about what everyone else thought about what decisions she would make that she chose to act like that. You know what I mean? If no one was out there sweating her, she would have probably did something and I would have did something. We would have had fun and whatever happened after that happened. But... You know, as I've gotten older now, I just let it be known, you know, that, you know, this is what it is with me and this is what it is with you. Okay, well, we ain't Lincoln, so we part, you know, mutually and no drama, you know, but uh, sometimes you can have a fling that goes on for quite a while and then it gets, you know, to be strenuous in certain ways and then whatever, whatever. But, you know, the way he was talking about it, at least he made it funny, you know what I mean? Because, like, there's a lot of dudes out there that are full of themselves and think that, you know, if you have money, this matters. If you if you have this car, this matters. And if you have these jewelry and this money and these, this house or whatever, that matters. Nah, if that is the thing, like when he said there's no romance without finance, right, that song... If it takes finance to get romance, I don't want nothing to do with you. 
And this is what I mean by that, man. If you a dude, you got a job, you make money to take care of you. If you a lady, you got a job, you make money to take care of you. My finances don't got nothing to do with you. And your finances don't got nothing to do with me. How we link depends on how we feel about each other here and here and the physical. You know what I mean? That's how that's how you sustain what's real. The finances and all that is only important if you're a, if you're a shallow, superficial, materialistic bozo. <laughs> that's when that stuff means something. But you know that's just how I feel about it. I'm sure I'm going to get differences of opinion, but and I welcome it. But just like I said, keep it constructive, keep it objective, and keep it. Keep it kind, keep it nice, you know, because if I hear, see anything nonsensical in my comments, I'm just going to delete them and then I don't want nothing to do with you anymore on my channel. So yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there, man. One more time, Eddie Murphy with uh, Men and Women. And if you like that reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going, like I always say. So yeah, man, um, another week of stand-up comedy, man. Come and gone, you know. Uh, I'm glad that I was able to get into some new things, you know, this week. And uh, I'm always into new things for the future, man. You know, can't guarantee I'll get to everything, but you know, I'm always trying, you know, in my own way, in my own time. And uh, I always appreciate all the suggestions, man. Like um, I saw this and I was thinking, you know what? This wasn't suggested to me, this clip here, but I was like, you know what? I have not done Eddie Murphy before. What is wrong with me? You know, and I know that um, some things I haven't seen, other things I have, but I have not seen this special in so long that I forgot that this was even a bit in the special. It was like a real blast from the past, man. And it was really fun to uh, check this one out. And uh, yeah, that's all she wrote for that. So it's going to be Eddie BTV signing off. One more game here. Like I said, another week of stand up in the books, you know. Um, Real happy to, to keep getting my laugh on with y'all, man. It's uh, it's always fun. And uh, as each day goes on and on and on, I find myself getting a lot more comfortable with this, you know, finding new things to do. And uh, who knows, maybe in the upcoming months, you know, I might figure out new ways to tweak the channel a little bit. Maybe come up with a new intro, you know, new graphics and all that, you know. But, uh, you know, day by day, you know. Thoughts come in, sometimes they just leave. Other ones go in and they just stay, but I don't do nothing about them, but you guys know how that is. So, yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in one more time, man. Um, I hope you guys had a lot of fun with me this week with the stand-up. Uh, we got Music Saturday coming up tomorrow, and uh, hopefully you guys love when I got in store there. <sighs> Let's take a deep breath on that. Really windy outside, man. I got to cut this short. Love and appreciate y'all. Peace.